actually, if you're talking about history, then we do have to talk about the Balfour Declaration because the discussion of why were why was there even a discussion about? I mean, you do understand even before the Balfour, uh, sorry, before the Balfour Declaration, if you look at, for example, the communications between Chaim Wiseman. Right. Yeah, and uh, and British officials. Yes. You'll find that those letters, for example, from Wiseman and those officials, was were saying like, why don't you go into Uganda? And this is actually written. You can go read this. Yeah, okay, that could oh, be true. Why, why oh, don't you? Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm the, not I mean, I've got the primary source materials if you want. I'm not, I'm not arguing on this. Right, right. Yeah, so so I'm not, I'm the, the, the question is. Yeah, I'm not here and, to argue on history. I'm, yeah, okay. Well, well, we have to speak about yeah, something, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> I'm not arguing. <laughs> Otherwise, what are we here to do, right? No, I'm, I'm here yeah. to say, yeah. uh, do you agree? You're making a historical case, right? No, I'm, I'm saying as of now, the Jewish yeah. people Sorry. have a right to the land of Israel. Well, do you agree to that? I'll tell you, there is an extent to which that is true. I, okay, I accept that. So we agree. There is, no, it's not completely agreement. Okay. It's, I, look, I'm saying that there is an extent to which that is true. Absolutely. Okay, Jewish amazing. people, and by the way, I haven't got any problem in saying that outright. Okay, that cool. Jewish, so that's, that Jewish was my point. And here's my issue. And I'm not coming to, to, right. to, to push Muslims. If, I think Muslims also do. So I Muslims think, yeah. are no. I, I would disagree yeah. with that. Muslims right, okay. are 1.8 billion people of the world. Okay, the Muslims. Right? And if they all had the right to go there, the, the, it yeah, would be okay. overpopulated. Okay, right? that's true. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But I think the Muslims that are living there, or the Muslims that associate that. You mean the Palestinians, right? Palestinians. Arabs. You can call them Arabs. Arab Palestinians, or whatever. Okay. No problem, just for the sake of argument. Right. What, what I'm saying to you is, what I find troubling, okay, okay. is the fact that in the first instance, the, the Jewish lobby, or you could say the Zionist movement, which you said you don't really dis uh, uh, agree with anyway. I don't but, necessarily, yes. Yeah, in all cases. But they were given the options by this other colonial administrator called the British Empire. Where do you want to go, really? Where, and then the, the case was made by Chaim Wiseman and the other you know, Zionist propagators. Where, they go to Uganda. No, Uganda, they said. It's nothing to do with us. We don't want to go to that place. We want okay. to go to a place where our people, right, yeah, historically okay. were located, which right. is in this place called Israel, or, or this place called Palestine, but which we call, or are going to call Israel. Yeah. yeah? This is the history. And then after that, uh, uh, Arthur Balfour put but, forward the Balfour way, Declaration. Oh, that, that wasn't all the Jewish people. There's been, there's been Jewish people living in Israel throughout history. That, that, we're talking about the, the main, the, the, the most of the Jewish people. Yeah, I haven't got have a problem. Been, yeah, yeah. Been, Look, I'm not talking about the demographics yeah. of that area throughout history. That's a different discussion. Yeah, okay. But what I'm saying is that when the Balfour Declaration was uh, put in place, yeah. that Balfour Declaration basically gave the right of one people to come into another people's land without the permission of those people that were there. All right, now that is the equivalent of, from a historical uh, perspective... But, but who's, we said, but Go we ahead. said that the, the British government, post-1948, the land of Israel. You That's mean pre, pre? Sorry, pre, I'm getting the wrong word. Pre. Okay. You said that. So why, wh who's this other peoples that you're, you're representing and saying that this is their country? What do you mean, sorry? You, you said that the Balfour Declaration stated that the yes. Jews can go to another country another people's country yeah, and, that's, and rule it but it was with, what, they, they didn't even say it was a colony though they, they didn't even say we ruled over that land like that they said we have a mandate to govern in that area okay, so according so they to their, gave that according to their gave, own according they to their gave own that right over to the Jewish yeah people. they had no right to give that right why though. not because they, they according to their own premise they said we have a mandate to govern they didn't have we have a mandate to change the populations of but, but, that wasn't that wasn't part of that. That wasn't that wasn't part of the, the agreement. But, but when you give the man, when you when you give that right over to the Jewish people, it wasn't given over to them. It wasn't. By the way, they took it over in World War One. Just to let yeah, you know. No, no, but that's we spoke about history. So, uh, no, I, 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 what, what, we, what we said, countries con uh, conquering other countries, yeah. took a completely different flavor after World War One and after World War Two than it did before those well, times. In, in what way? Give an example. Uh, so, so for example, the, the League of Nations was established after World War One, right, okay. and the UN was established after World War Two. Right, Those okay. tied countries together into agreements. Right. Now, what uh, was happening during World War One? Yeah. During World War One, when the Balfour Declaration was actually written. That was a time where there was a structural rebalancing of powers. The Ottoman Empire collapsed at that time, yes. and that that particular area, which was Palestine at that time, was overtaken by the British Empire, yes. through which they did these deals, which they had no right to do yes. under their own principles, and they gave... Why the, did they not have a right to do that? Because do what right do they have to do that? Because That's the they question. Ruled, they ruled the, the land of But they said they, they had a mandate to govern there. Put it this way, does England now have a right to give Gibraltar back to Spain if they want to? The, the British government. Say that again, sorry? Does the British government, talking about, let's say, Gibraltar, 
which is a, a British colony. Yes. We own it's it. not a colony. It's, it's part well, of Britain. It's part of Britain. Do yeah. they have a right to give the the give the, give it back to the, give it to the government of Spain? Do they have a right to do that? Well, not when the populations have not consented to that, according Why to not? democratic principles. The the, 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 the population. Like you, you're just basically asking, can, the can population, countries let's say switch? The population doesn't want the British government to either. Okay, that's a different question now. You're asking now if the population, though. But, but now, oh, perfect. So you're saying the, the the will of the population is important. So yes, if we that's go true. now, so the, the, was there a referendum that was done at that time with the Palestinian people? Do you want to be replaced by the by our Jews? No. And no, if there was if there was no such, uh, then according to you, what your what your theory of justice is, then it shouldn't have been done, right? And um, um, no, my point is that. People, governments that ruled countries have a certain right to give it to others. Why, why, I don't, I don't no, 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 no. I'm saying to you. No, no. You've I said. Agree, but Gibraltar, then the I'm mandate to give. The mandate. Sorry, go ahead. If, 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 regarding Gibraltar, if the British would want to give over to Spain, then they'd have a right. I, I, would, I would think. So, right. so people that have a British passport, what would happen to them in Gibraltar? They'd also have, they'd also have a right. No, hold on, hold on. Wouldn't be. If it, hold on, hold on. Yeah. If just think about what you're saying. Yeah, yeah okay. People, I'm thinking, yeah. right? Say England leaves the European Union. All yes, right. Okay. And say when? Well, no, it could happen. It could not happen. We don't know, right? Say England leaves the European Union, yeah, and that those individuals in Gibraltar have a British passport, and this becomes Spain now. Now have to leave that area because actually there's no right to to, to residence for British citizens in Spain. Right. They're not part of the European yes. Union anymore. Do you okay. think that's justified? Like people, they it's like, they have it's to like all leave the, like So they have to give up their homes and go. I don't know if that's morally correct. You don't know. No, it's, so it's, people it's, that, it's a very grey area. Uh, so you think that's a grey area? That's a yes, problem. That, that's so a, yeah, that's so a problem. let me uh, let me ask you a question, right? It, so you see now, but I think I'm getting through to you. I do think I'm getting through to you. I don't know if these morals applied back in 1948 when they're English, because you see the English uh, governed Australia. Right, right. Uh, what, Canada, what I am saying, but but they, they, they were, they, but, they the, those, the world. but those principles that we're talking about right. are the principles by which and through which the Western governments maintained legitimacy throughout the ages, especially after the 1500s, especially after okay. you know Charles I and you know the English Civil War and so on. The, the liberal principles, the democratic principles, and all that, those things that you're talking about have to be looked at through the lenses of those principles that Western governments hold themselves accountable okay, to. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, so if you accept that a changing of government shouldn't be done unless the will of the, per the people or the population is consented, after World War One, after World War Two, then in that case it would follow that the will of the Palestinian people was not consented and therefore but, that, but that, that changing but of government. Also, but there's been, there were also Jews living in Israel. So, so why problem. Were the, why were the Jew, why were the they were Palestinian, Palestinian Jews, though, weren't they? They were referred to as Palestinian oh, yeah, Jews. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. So those are the, the Palestinian those, Jews. I'm not just. I'm not talking government. about Arabs. Well, they were they were a minority, weren't they? If you look at the, the okay, number, if right. you look at the numbers, once again, it's in the book of the Shrine so, of Palestine. Right. If you look in the 20s and 30s, there was a flooding in of Jewish population only in the 30s. Yeah, Obviously, okay. in the 40s, there was after the Holocaust and so on. There was even more of a flooding. Yeah, of course, yes. But in the very beginning, before all of this happened, you wouldn't be able to say that Jews represented more than 10% of the pop, uh, but, po population But in, in you, what you're saying now is that England was as democratic back then in 1948 as it was now. No, I'm saying I that it it's held true. itself to those principles. I don't know if it did. I don't know if it did. No, it they, did. It did. Got, they had elections. They had universal suffrage. In fact, that's in th that very year, 1918 was the year, they, they decided that women will get the vote as well. That was one year after the Balfour Declaration. So what we're talking about is a country which was accounting itself on its democratic principles that were given another country to peoples who did not belong in that country without the consent of the population of that country and that was against their principles against their mandate against the UN law and but against I said, I don't know what happened and today. against I the will of the Palestinians today if Britain would give no, Gibraltar you, do, back over to England do, do you understand the I point understand here? I understand there is a no. point but, it that, but today if Britain would give Gibraltar back over to Spain then I don't know what happened to people. What I'm saying to you is that, that, but, that but, but, but those people, if they were forced to be evicted from their homes as a direct consequence but, but, of but, the change of government... Who said Muslims were forced to be evicted or Palestinians well, were that's, forced that's to be evicted Well, that's certainly... It's called the, 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 the Nakhba. The, 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 sorry, the, 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 after 1948, there was a mass... Uh, immigration from yeah, the Palestinian... because of the war of independence. This, this is after the war of independence. Yes. Now, 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 what my point is, after the war of independence, you can't talk about morally what's correct anymore because the war in itself created a situation where people denied Israel, 
people so therefore it led to two so, diverse very diverse Jews what, are people fighting so each other so obviously so you think I'm post the war so, of independence but the thing is Gandhi denied the state of Pakistan alright okay. I mean denying a state doesn't mean it's not a morally incorrect stance the legitimacy that, but, right so if someone says the way this state was established but, but you, you said the point that is, is immoral or Jews illegitimate had been without the war of independence had so Jews the governed the that? land of Israel Pardon then me? You, you, what you're saying is yes. had Jews governed the land of Israel without the war of independence without the war of people then the Muslims would have, had, would have been driven from their homes and exiled from the country and I'm not willing to stand by that no no, no it's not that they were going to that's a hypothetical uh, yeah, yeah. articulation I'm saying that they were in fact that, no, that is no, what happened I'm saying that's because the Muslims didn't agree to the change in government first of all let's use the word Arabs sorry, I think that's, okay, I'm sorry right, I didn't mean, yeah, because yeah. it's not okay, all yeah, 1.7 yeah, I, I don't want to generalize you're well right. let's just say even 1 billion yeah, okay, you're at right. a time yeah, 800 billion to that. Oh, yeah, the, population the Palestinians yes. didn't abide to the change in government yes yeah, so why should they do why? Or, tell me the reason but, but why they I should. Told, so let me ask you a question. I've asked right? you what happens, what yeah, would happen yeah. today if Gibraltar would be the British government so, would give Gibraltar back to Spain. Let us say, for the sake of, let Do me the give you. A, have a right there to oh, fine. Let, 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 let's let's say let's put it this way. Yeah. If we continue with this this train of thought about yes. conquest and so on, let's say for instance America stops being a, a superpower, stops being uh, Israel's friend, and Israel gets taken over by another government through conquest, okay? Yeah, okay. They take over fair the... Enough. the yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Now, do you accept that they should change the populations, tell the Israelis, the, the Jews at that time, to go to another place, go back to go back to Europe, yeah? And we're going to put this country back for, for example, these individuals. Do you accept that that's a fair recourse? It's probably a bit anti-democratic, yeah. It's anti-democratic? Yes, anti-anti... No, anti, anti, yeah, is anti it, is it, is, so it's, it's not moral? It's not moral, yes. So uh, why is it moral in the first instance, but it's not because moral Because I that said one? that you're saying that when the yeah. Jews had planned to take over the land of Israel, they planned to drive Muslims out. That's, 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 that's necessarily well, well, true. Actually, you're Pap giving me an example okay. of a, 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 well, a country telling all the Jews after they've taken over the land well, of Israel well, to leave. Well, I will tell you something. This, okay. is a, this is a specific question on history. Okay. Ilan Pape actually wrote, he's an interesting uh, historian, okay. he wrote a book on, the, he looked at the topographical information in that area at that time in the 40s and 50s in, okay. in, in Palestine and he also looked at plans, like this is in the primary source materials that you can actually retrieve online. For example, Plan Dalit. Plan Dalit was a, was a plan which was from the, um, from the Israeli government which, which, which detailed within it that we were trying to reduce the population sizes of the Arabs and increase so I, the population I, I sizes. I disagree to that. Yeah. Right, so I can't justify that. And I said I, at the beginning, I don't necessarily justify Zionism. No, no problem. But what I'm so, saying I, is... So what I can't I'm, justify it. I can't but, but justify that. But what I'm saying wrong. to you is that yes. every time you're asking me for evidence, I can give you the primary source evidence. It's easier to give primary source evidence. It's not... It's, it's not difficult to... Sorry. It's not difficult to do that, right? Right. So what I'm saying is that there, there is clear demographic information clear um, government resources that can point us to the fact that there was a there was a consorted effort by the by the Israeli government in 1948 onwards that meant that Jewish people Jewish elites I should say try to force through genocide um, no, I do not well plan Dalit is oh, well I mean plan what is genocide it's, it's literally it's, uh, it's it's harassment of a people. It's yeah, yeah. So they the tried to get rid of those individuals from that country that is no, referred I, to as I, genocide. I've told you this is all after 1948. Yes. Right. Okay. So is that is that justifiable I mean is, then? No, no, that's not justifiable. So, okay. but, but, but you're mixing two things up here. Which are? What? Which are? Yeah. There's, there's what what should have happened and what did happen. What, what could have happened was the land of the, the Jews taking government. Yes. And there's Muslims staying there. Okay. And there are some yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes. The, the Palestinians staying okay. there. And there'll be some sort of uh, country where the Palestinians and Jews sort of getting along. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll finish it in five minutes. Okay. Um, but where Palestinians and Jews sort of getting along without any where, Who's the ruler though? The Jews. Because Why the should British they be the gave Jews? because that's a moral that's a but moral the, debate. But, but whether but a country's it's not a moral debate. I'm, you, you just but decided you just, you, you but agree you, to me. We, on we that. accept. No, no. I said that that was a pre Medieval. That was a medieval no, construct. I, I asked you today, I'm saying that what would with the happen British Empire. If it was going to well, Spain? We already talked about that. And that's uh, what, you, well, you tell me. I told Do you. you well, if you, if the, if the country is going to be uh, consistent with its democratic principles, there's no yeah. way possible that Gibraltar can be returned back to Spain without at least a referendum from the people of Gibraltar. Do you agree with that? Referendum meaning a vote of all of the people in that country. I'm not sure. Okay. So you think that they because, can? Yeah, right. but the problem. Well, that's, I don't the think. The problem is that yeah, the, the, yeah. the people didn't choose that democratic system to begin with. 
if you'd have a country I, I, well okay. look, that's, the, that's the thing but they didn't choose it but they were forced into it that's that the, what, what, but these now, are the principles the these English are... changed from capitalist de democracy so now I don't get it sorry Sorry? The, the problem is that even the, the English, being dem they weren't democratic to begin with. They took over the country without being democratic. When? They, when the English did, and they, they, when they went conquering around the, the world. No, but they, they so still, even when they're, sorry, that, that's, that's not yeah. correct. Because even when they were conquering around the world, yeah. they held themselves to liberal values. Right. Do you know that? I mean, okay, do you know Napoleon, be... when he was doing, but by the way, he was referred to as the liberal dictator. Okay. Which might not be democratic, but yeah. certainly is liberal. So. So far as holding themselves to these kind of values are concerned, there's more to be said by way of the coexistence of liberalism co and, 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 and co uh, colonialism, democracy and colonialism. It's not as far as to say it's whenever colonialism existed, democracy and liberalism doesn't, did it? it did, they did actually coexist together in the British Empire. What I'm saying to but, you, but, I... But, but, fine, let me just go. finish my point. The yes, point of course, is go ahead. That, that after 1948, yeah. you can't bring a proof to, to, to what, what could have happened. Okay, let me That's what did happen. Yeah. To what should have happened. After 1948, what happened was, because the Palestinians didn't agree to the takeover, yeah. where, where you could say they were right or wrong, that, that I think since, I since think, then, yeah, there's been yeah. a, a, a major divide and split within the land, within okay. the Holy Land, let's call it. Yeah. Therefore, there's, there hasn't been any agreement on anything. If the, so when you, bring, yeah, when, yeah. when you tell me that Israelis have uh, agendas to, to yeah. do this to Muslims and um, uh, to Palestinians... No, and Palestinians I didn't. Have all, I've done, all I've done, to be fair, Isaac, to okay. be fair, all okay. I've done is provide primary and secondary source evidence whenever you've asked me for anything. So you've asked me... So what's, what's your point? What's your point now? But, <laughs> well, off. Isaac, let's finish off. The point is, if you are... Depending on what your moral framework is, if your okay. moral framework is you believe that the will of the people should be respected, then we know that the will of the Palestinian people was not respected. If your point, if your moral framework is, if you're being honest and straightforward and say my moral yeah. framework is Judaism, yes, yes. If you just say that, if, uh, then I'll respect you more, to be honest with you, because you have much stronger case. That, that could also be right. That no, could no, also no, be. no, fine. If you said yes. my moral framework. Is Judaism, right? That could also be. No, 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 no I'm saying so it's also be. It's it fine. Could also be. Then let's not have this pseudo that's not the whole debate, intellectual right? discussions about uh, the UN and about yeah. international law, about democracy, about liberalism. Let's yeah. throw all of that into the dustbin of ideas, which, to no. be honest with you, those atheist uh, Zionists, uh, what I find inc incredible about it is that they adopt the Jewish position. Yeah, yes. and they, they try yeah, and they create atheist. a Jewish identity of right. atheists. Yes, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's a that's, that's, however, I completely agree to I that. Agree. But however, there's, yeah. there's something more to be said by way of that. I would say if you were to take the Old Testament narrative very seriously, then it's from the Nile to the Euphrates. So that would mean that you have to stand and also say that the Jews have as much right in Palestine as they do all the way up to the Euphrates and all the way down to Egypt. Not only just Sinai, by the way. Yeah, that could also be. Yeah, yeah. So not only just Sinai. So, so into where all the, all those areas up until the Nile, and so. If you have that position, then all you're saying is we have the right to war. Well, I would say if that is your position, and I'll end with this, right? But I don't agree to that. I don't necessarily no, agree to no that problem. because I could also I could only go to that. What I, what I, I would you could say that's only in the days in the when no Messiah problem. comes and we've been exiled. What, I, I, what, I, that, what yeah. I would say if that is your position. But I, no, I don't say that's even, not necessarily my position. No, okay? if, but even if someone had, because yeah, that's yeah, the only way you could work the argument. And we've looked at every other way. If this I, is, I never said, uh, no, I'm we've looked at the democratic uh, alternative. We looked at the, uh, you know, we looked at the post. Uh, and and also, World there's another, context. there's another argument to be argued is that e that's what happened in 1948. Okay. The question is now, what's going on in Israel? Okay, what is let, there let to me do just about that? finish off my thought here. Which means two sides. Of let suffering. me just finish yeah. off my thought here. Okay. Even if you had this conquest ideology, which yes. I, by the way, if you have it, you have it. If you believe okay. in it, you believe it. I would say to you, but you didn't even fight yourself. That's why I would say the Jews didn't even fight themselves. They relied upon Big Brother British Empire to do all the fighting no, for them. No, of course the Jews. Oh yes, they did. Of course they, oh, they yes, fought they, against the British themselves. No, they didn't. No, of they course. fought against the British in, in, in Little Haganah and Irgun yeah, groups. Yeah, yeah, of yes, of course. Well, I'm not talking about that. They did not conquer the land themselves. They relied upon a proxy empire yeah, to do Jews, that. That's, so that's I would say to you, the point you of can't. The exile. You can, Jews well, didn't have a I would have a lot more respect for you okay. if you could say my forefathers fought your forefathers and beat them. I, if you yeah. said that and, and, and conquered right. the land and they were forced but to that's, leave, that's but you, quite no, no problem. Even if, if you, so you if you, you said, you, if so you have more let me just say, let me just say, let me let me just say that. And they did, by the way, beat them in the in some wars where the Arabs were nationalistic and they've been divided and they had been humiliated. But why I'm going to say is this, is that when you guys, when you, your forefathers, that had this ideology, not all of those individuals, 
when they claimed to own that land, they didn't do the fighting themselves. They waited for some other empire to give them it on a, a silver plate. So you can't even use a conquest but yeah, ideology. But the, yeah, but the, 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 yeah, yeah. But the yeah. conquest so ideology means no that way, we, have, we as a nation justified. have a standpoint to, to, so you, to fight you, you for the depend, land of Israel. You depend. You, it, it, you depend. We've been exiled. From, we were exiled 2,000 years okay, ago no, from the land of Israel. No problem. Since no, no, then, no. we didn't have a, con a standpoint to even start My fighting. My friend, war. everyone was exiled from everywhere. In, in no, 1066, so I mean, how, in 1066 you, you, you had the say, Norman invasion. When you say that my, my forefathers I mean, didn't fight, from where did you want them to be? From where, where, did, where, where did you want them to get a group from? We were in Germany. You didn't we even conquer the land yourself. You didn't even conquer it yourself. Who's we? Yeah, the, the, the Jewish at nation point, didn't conquer it themselves. The, but, at that, but at that point, there wasn't, they didn't. There wasn't an identity. They were fighting the British, actually. There, at, at that point, there wasn't an identity. They fought them, the guys that helped them. At that point, there wasn't an identity of a Jewish nation so much. We were Jews scattered around the world. You were fighting the British. That's what was yes, happening. Yes, so you had a few groups fighting right. the British. So, but you, as you say, what, what, what are you trying yes. to say? Um, no, um, those, um, those groups became nation, the government. They became the government. Yes, us, us as a Jewish yeah. nation didn't but, fight, uh, but we didn't have a Jewish nation. But how can Begin, who was the president in 1971, who was actually part of a splinter group called Urgun, which is yeah, a terrorist, Urgun, organi I, yeah, yeah. terrorist organization, which killed uh, 91 was, yes, innocents not, yeah. in uh, King David Hotel. Yeah, yes, yes, he became said. the president That's of... I don't know that do not but I'm sorry, there was a point. There was, the there, there was a point. There was a point I was going to make to you, which was but, this. But, but you're the still point, talking about the Israelis, but the, 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 the Palestinian. The there are loads of Palestinians that uh, don't fine, hold of any Jews being in the country. Isaac, either. Listen to me. The reason why I was saying Hamas was funded by Israel in 1980s. Yeah. The reason why that's an important consideration is because the, the main threat at that time was the PLO, the uh, the Palestinian Liberation Organization. And the reason why they were the main they were, they were they had the majority of the uh, military capabilities and so on. Yeah. And so what happened was that there was a conflict in interest or there was a struggle. There was a, I don't know. Sorry, there was a struggle for power. Yeah. There was a struggle for power between Hamas and it continues until this day and the PLO, right? And that struggle for power, the Israelis saw an opening and they said, you know, divide and conquer. If we fund the uh, Hamas, we militarize them, then they'll fight each other. We don't have to fight them. That could be yes. Yeah, so it happens. So, so I can't justify. So that, when yes, they, I can't, so I can't, this, I can't justify. Everything listen, they, they the reason why I'm telling you this is yeah, it's, it's all about narrative creation, knowledge production. The reason yes. why is because the idea of a terrorist. If you look at the, um, if you look at the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 20, uh, 2000s, and so on, you'll find that it was more to do with Arab nationality in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. All right. It was about Arab nationalism versus Zionism. That was the struggle, all right? Okay. Religion played a secondary, you could even say a tertiary kind of, it was a tertiary consideration at that point. In terms of the politics, the propaganda of both the Arab governments, not just in Palestine, but around it, like yeah, in Egypt but, and, but, and, and yeah, Syria and so on, Jordan. And I've looked at the, look, I've looked at the- But today, the, the, the Muslim, the, the but, Palestinians but, but, walking around, that but listen, can I, just, can I, in the country is, is do you mind if I just, do, 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 can I just finish yeah, my okay. point? The same actions were being done, okay, all of this time. You've got the same problem with America funding Mujahideen and all these things. Are, are you with me? Okay, the reason I'm why I've mentioned this is because the same actions are being done, but the explanatory force has changed. The reason why these things are happening in the 60s and 70s, according to, if you look at, just for example, the propaganda in, in, in newspaper materials, is completely different to how it was in, 90, in the 90s and 2000s. It shifted from a nationalistic agenda to a narrative about religion. And that, was co that, that coincided, by the way, you have to know this, with the ending of the Cold War, which happened in 89, and the final soldiers left in 91. That happened a good 27, 28 years ago. So obviously America needed a new enemy, Israel needed to kind of come with America and they came together, the elites of those countries, almost in tacit collusionary format to create a new narrative of the Muslim terrorist threat. That happened. Yeah. It was in the interest of the Israeli. It was in the is. It was in the interest of. So an opinion. I don't, I'm listen. It was in the interest. Well, why is of, it the of, of the well, West look, creating the, a, a? Well, well. Yeah. Listen. Listen to listen I, I to the reality. I don't buy that. Well, let me explain to you. Osama bin Laden, who we already arrested. Look what ISIS are doing to Muslims. I'm not with Listen, listen. Look at what ISIS is doing listen, to Muslims. You're still, you're still, you're still not thinking as broad as I want you to think. What I'm saying to you is, 1979, which is a fact. You can find. I have the newspaper clipping. ISIS are killing million yes, Muslims. Fact, millions fact, fact, of fact. millions are being fact, fact. Muslims are not being millions, killed. Not millions, but What's they going are on in, in not millions. Few hundred, hundreds of thousands. Not even of hundreds, tens of thousands. No, but that's thousands. Thousands. I wouldn't even say hundreds, hundreds of thousands. Of thousands. Okay, not hundreds. They haven't got that this power. Is in, this, is in, that's not this, is in, this is in Iraq, Syria. We're talking about all different right. Muslim countries. But even then, are being killed. Fine. So I agree with you. So.
Okay, what's that's what's up. So what, this terror and, and a lot of that's got to do with the holy wars and then, and what ISIS are proclaiming holy war. What's that got to do with the West? Well, I would say to you, you that you're, you're telling me that no, the no, West but is even ISIS certain Muslims be, no, but, to, to be terrorists. Well, it's got everything to do. It's everything to do with the West because they left the power vacuum. 2003. But, but, well, let me. Look but at what Isaac, Isaac, there was, uh, Isaac, there was Isaac, please come. Came and we're having 2,000 people. We're having a, I'm having a discussion here. Okay. And, no, and you're just getting overexcited. Look, okay. I'm saying to you. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, you're no, 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 Isaac. I'm, well, the let, me, let me. Let me. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm asking you a question. Right, now, the fine. Way, Can you I explain? Two planes went into the Twin Towers. Yes, yes. 9 11. Yeah, 2,200 right. and something people so, died. So, okay. We're, bo we're blown right. out of the sky, burnt alive, and fell to the death. Right, why is that could do with the West prototyping Muslims? Well, to be it's terrorists? got everything to do with the West. If you look at. If, if, we, be, if we. Look, if we, if we look at the. Uh, the just ad bellum and the just ad bello, the justification for war. That Osama bin Laden supposedly wrote. We don't know to what extent this is true. He wrote this. There was a fatwa he wrote in 1998. A fatwa he wrote in 2002. Okay. And so an you're, inter, you're sort of justifying well, listen, his fatwas. Am I justifying his uh, fatwas? No, because the West, because of the West did it. It's not no, him. No, no. I'm, you're I'm, saying I'm, it's I'm, not I'm, him. Well, or? Isaac, now you're playing games. Now you don't understand. Now there's a language so barrier. I'm sorry. I, so, no, I really don't understand. No. no. Well, let me explain to you. Okay, uh, yeah. If you look at his fatwas and his yeah. modes of justification, yeah, how he generally against the West. Yes. Can you explain? Can you yeah, just sorry, give okay, me a give yeah, me a? Sorry, you're right. Sorry. Yeah. You, yeah. This is knowledge information you don't know. All right. So you ask me a question. I'm giving you the answer with with dates and figures. You should. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. What Osama bin Laden and Ayman al Zawahri and others, yes, before him and after him, how they justify the cancelling out of non, uh, non combatant immunity, yes, which is the principle that Islamically is upheld, even by them, by the way, even by them, it's upheld. The reason how they cancelled that, uh, that principle out of non combatant immunity is what they say is the principle of reciprocity. They say that they're killing our, listen, they say, Osama bin Laden said in his fatwa 98, why, why are we killing you? Because you're killing us. He said in his fatwa in 2002 the same thing. In other words, the reasons why ISIS are, can even exist are, uh, is because they justify their acts and their terrorism, yes, through the actions of the Western world, according to them. Okay, according to them. That justifies a person's actions. And, um, they did, no, I didn't say justify. I said that's what they're doing. Is, um, why, why is that the West's problem? Because the West, according but, 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 two because, hold do on. not make a right. That's, I, that's I simple, agree. very simple. True. So I you, there's a moral debate. No, about I, let me, let me just no I agree with you. No, hold on. Let's be clear. We totally agree on that so, point. So what, but what, what I'm what? saying is, if what is the West got to do with it? According to their justification methods, they say the West, because they, they, they've come into the US, uh, the, the Saudi Arabia, they've, milita they've come in as military base in Saudi Arabia, because of the Israel, they continually reference Israel, Palestine, Bosnia, and Chechnya. They are talking about either the West's um, uh, allying with Israel or direct intervention of Muslim lands or acquiescence of Muslim death. That is how they've been able to justify it. In the same way as the Christchurch killer was able to justify his murder, uh, in the same way, by the way, as Mahekin Begin, the president of wait, wait, wait. Israel, hold on, excuse me, the you president of minutes, yeah, okay. the president of Israel, in his book, The Revolt, which he wrote, which you can read, is a book, a primary source material. He says in the beginning of the book, we hate those Arabs, and he tells us, he tells the people how he went into villages and killed all the Arabs. He justifies did his I never justified what I'm, the Zionists did, I, did. Did I say that you did it? So I'm why saying, are you bringing this to me? I'm, I'm saying okay. that they're, uh, they're just a bellow and just, just a bellow. Their modes of justification is actually the same throughout. That the, the, the Jews have the, uh, the, the, the Jewish terrorists have the same way. The Christchurch killer has the same way. And, and so does the, uh, the Muslim terrorists. I say it's the principle of reciprocity. You're doing it to us. We're doing it to you. So from that perspective, they can cancel out non-combatant immunity and there can be oh, so, terrorism. So are you, in other words, saying that the West was just as responsible and just as... as no, I'm not saying any of that. As, don't as, don't as, show as, me. As I'm saying that everyone, every I'm terrorist... Asking. I'm saying every the terrorist, terrorists. every single terrorist, every extremist, every monstrous person that cancels out this principle of non-combatant immunity must first go through a justification program in their mind. Yeah, that's true. And, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. justification program has to start 
with a perpetual conflict which they've proposed for themselves. We've been driven out of our land, we've been killed with this, with that, and then killing children becomes legitimate. It's legitimate for ISIS, it's legitimate so for the, the Christchurch so, killer, and it's so legitimate trying, for so the Israeli the state. So my my point is that you can't see that the Israeli government is ISIS, and ISIS is the Israeli government. There is no Sorry, difference. I completely, I completely, there, there is no difference. The only difference is the Israeli government wears I, nice suits. I don't suit. necessarily agree with Zionism. I don't necessarily agree with Zionism. Why? Don't say the Israeli government. Why? Israel, they, have the uh, the, the Israel, they, they have the same uh, principles. The only difference is... They, they're a democratic society. What's the difference? So what? It's, uh, uh, they, they cancel. Kill they, bo people. they both they're do not, kill people. They, they do have both, out of they both security have people. for the country that's because they're going to be says. killed. That's what ISIS says. That's what we know. That's what ISIS says. That's what ISIS says. Do you know that's what ISIS says? Look at their books, Dabiq. Look at look at the look at the magazines. Have you read what they said? Well, that's right. Anyone that doesn't convert yeah. to Islam gets butchered. They start raping No, that's women. not. They don't call about. That. They don't what? say that. Okay, ISIS, they do, that's what they do. Okay, ISIS say. Well, no, I don't I'm telling you. I've read what. I've read what. I don't care what they say. I know they go to everything. Well, well, well. I can say the same thing about Israel. I can say the same kill, and killing men because they don't convert to Judaism. Ju look, if that's what, that's what Israel well, it's not about Judaism conversion. It's about a genocide. It's about getting the people, those Arabs out and keeping those Jews What do you mean getting those Arabs out? But I'm telling you, I'm not necessarily going to be Zionism. I'm saying as of now, that's I what's do, happened, isn't it? There is an argument to, to well, understand what the Israel is up to. They are very, th they're living a life ISIS threatened and the US. by death. By the way, now, if they don't defend do, you, do you say that ISIS is a legitimate state? No. Okay, why not? Who do they think they are? They're no, no, they're not a legitimate state. What, what ownership do they have on anything? No, no. They, you, you were saying Israel conquered, yes? They're, your justification for their existence is conquest. ISIS conquered their land, you can make the same justification, no? I never said that was a justification. No, you said, you, I said you the did say justification, was justification was that, is, that the British government, if there is one, the British government gave right. it over to so them. So what's the difference between ISIS and... Now, now, but, but, but the but whole... Hold on, the, the hold, whole, on hold on, No, no hold on. Let Let's be you. honest. No, Let's you, be you, honest now. You said the blanket right. statement yeah. and expe yeah. expected me to buy by it that the Israeli government is ISIS. Now, I completely disagree. Well, they have the same justification uh, 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 of non-combatant immunity. The Israelis do not have agendas to kill people. Yes, they do. No, they don't. This is mentioned. You have read it? Listen, have you read it? All these attacks... But have you read it, though? Why should, you, no, I'm, I'm, I live should in Israel. I, I, know, I, know, I know what goes on. No, there. but if you live in Israel, have you seen I've what you said? Have you ever been to Israel? Do you think I'm allowed in a country like that? <laughs> I just met, I came back no, on EasyJet flight. No, man, I'm not allowed. Dude, they kick I us came, back out, man. Dude, trust me. They trust kick us you. Back out. I came back just on an EasyJet flight from Tel Aviv to Stansted they yesterday. Won't let me in. Trust was, me. They won't trust let me. me. I can tell you. Was ten, ten, I was just having me. a nice conversation with 10 Muslims. I know the Muslims go there, but not every Muslim. If, you, if you're affiliated to a charity that boycotts Israel, they don't let you in. Norman Finkelstein is not allowed. Why not? Because you're a threat to the country. What if I boycott the, the don't eat the don't eat the dates? Listen, I'm not. I told don't, you, I can't just don't eat dates. I'm not going to kill you. I'm just. I'm saying don't. Well, you buy do that. The you burn a you burn a flag in America. They put you in prison. Why? Just because of just that's what happens. People. Sorry. You, you burn an American flag. Not in this flag. country, my friend. You can burn an American flag you want here. <laughs> no, you can't. But you burn an American flag huh? in America. Like you said. Yeah, Melbourne Focus is not like. The point I'm making to you is this: is uh, that do, if you're. The point if, I'm making to you is if you ask people to know for two Where? states, people ask people now. Who's what? people? Which people? Sorry. Bibi. Bibi Netanyahu. Netanyahu. Oh, Bibi. But that's what they call him. <laughs> that's his Benjamin. Oh. Bibi Netanyahu. Netanyahu. We call him Bastard. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Bastard Netanyahu. Right, okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's an argument. Do you like him? Just, what? Do you like this bastard? <laughs> what, what, wait, wait. What, what, you associate <laughs> the word liking someone with bastard. You can like a bastard. Do you like the guy? Uh, or? What's that, what's that to do with it? That's not an argument. That's I'm, a, that's no, I'm, just, I'm just asking. What I'm saying is, he offered actually. to talk peace. And, yes. he, and he said it. You know this? He's not allowed he's, to. He, he he's offered offer. to talk peace. 100%. Are you, are you he, he sat down with Yasser Afra, all these people. Okay. He yeah. sat down with them. So did the ISIS. problem is, ISIS, as uh, of now. Uh, what do you the, call the, it? The, uh, Osama bin Laden sat down with, with the CIA. <laughs> oh, did he? Yes, in 1979, <laughs> they were friends. Oh, they were good okay. friends with each other. Does that mean anything to me? What is that? Or how is that an evidence? He, I'm asking in as fact, of now. You know the times, you're not justified. The do, Times do, do had you, a picture of Osama bin Laden calling him a hero. All you're doing is calling Israel ISIS. Israel ISIS. I'm asking no, I'm not, a that's basic question. All, all the Israelis I'm saying are ISIS. that you, you said that. I'm asking that. a basic question. Go what ahead. do you want six million Israelis? Let's say, you, let's say you're morally correct that they shouldn't be in the country. Yes. The problem is, what do you want six million Israelis to do now? I think that the, it's a And all pressure. you're doing is calling them ISIS. All you're doing is saying that they kill people. All you're doing is saying that they have agendas to get rid of Muslims. I'm telling you now, there's a. A, a major conflict, and it's a. So, it's, it's, are you it's, asking it's me a, a question? You've asked no, me a question. No, let me just finish. Yes, let me just course, finish. Yes, yes. And but calm, calm death, down. Calm down. I'm, I'm not. I'm just. I'm very calm. Okay. Yes. Just give it two minutes. 
Yeah, yeah, sorry, okay. Okay, I'm, cool. yeah you're? I'm saying people are killing each other. Yep. And we know for a fact there are Palestinians who want to kill Israelis. I have a chance to kill all Israelis. Okay. We know that's that's a fact. It's a given. I'm telling you now. I'm, okay. I, I had friends no walking around okay. Jerusalem. It was uh, scary. Okay. People, you Very hear of terrorist okay, attacks. Fine. You read the Israeli newspapers. There's terrorist attacks fine. every fine. couple of weeks. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. Well, as of now, it's the not, Israeli... by the way, it's not. It's not the case. I've looked at the numbers. That's fine. It's not the case. I'm telling you facts. I lived there. I've lived there. I've studied there for yeah, the past year. Yeah, but no, no, no. I know you studied there for the I past every, year. Every, so that's every, one year every and, and seventy years of its history. So that's one seventieth. What, what's that to do with anything? With that's, that's a I'm lot, asking actually. As of now. No, I'm asking as of now. It's like 1%. Nothing to do with it. No. no I don't, I don't and it's only one area as well. So you don't really have the full knowledge yeah, of Yeah, but you hear of terrorist attacks left, right and centre. Oh, you hear I'm of not, I'm Yes, not. you do, certainly. No, no, this is fact. Yeah, but it's usually a, a bullet and going I know, into I know the head of the Palestinian. I know of, there's a place called Hanoff in Jerusalem where uh, two years back, five... The five uh, so what numbers 15, are so look at the civilian casualties of Palestinians versus that could Israel. also be true no no hold on let's look at but that let's look every, at the last 10 years has Israel ever just gone and done airstrikes on Gaza without rockets coming before never how do you know that of course there's rockets there's a, so I, what about they, when, they, they no, made that's, Aaron that's, Dome for a reason uh, so you're they, now they, justifying every, you're candidly my justifying. parents lived there in right. 1991 so let's, let's, what, let's end this discussion because yeah, okay. I know it's going okay, to become a bit like a debate and now you, it's clear okay. that you're yeah. It's clear then. Right. So what, it's clear what else is, what's clear? Well, the only thing that's clear to me yeah. is that your failure to recognize the. I know you, but you're. You're. You haven't let me speak, okay. man. I mean, you've yeah, been speaking yeah. for a long time. All I'm saying, you just said the blank. Let, let me. Uh, have let, I let been me. speaking for a long time, or has it been quite even, actually? Okay, it could be even. Yeah, but you don't say that. You said it's been even. Okay, it's been even. Right. You, said you seem Israel, a bit Israel, discombobulated right now. I mean, could be because after the long argument, I've been arguing for a couple of things. That's why it's nothing personal. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's, it's, from context, I understand. Also, didn't really know that. that yeah. yeah. <laughs> so well, the point is that you said that Israel is a terrorist. The Israeli government now is a terrorist organization. I, what I'm saying is no, I do not agree to Zionists. I don't agree to everything but, they do. No, but, 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 but you can't call them a terrorist organization because I can call them what I want, actually. Of course you can. And I have. And, and do you know why I say that? I say that. Look, Irgun was actually. Yeah, you, do, you, you just you mind, changed the, the, the you mind, you mind, complexity of the argument. To whether, do, you, do you mind if I? No, no. Let me just. I was just finishing. Do you want to finish off what you're saying? Go ahead. That's exactly what I'm asking you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is that as of now, there is definitely a threat to the secu to security of six million Jews living in Israel. Six million Israelis. Okay, and, and there's no and, threat and on the Palestinians? There is. So which one is so more severe? I don't know. I'm asking. Oh, you don't know. Okay, let's look at the numbers then. Let's look at, well, look at, let's look at the numbers. You have how many people living in Gaza? How many people? It's the most densely populated yeah, place that. in the world, yes, right? And it, can they go out and can how they come in? How many Israeli? How many are? Um, how many you, you, you've had a okay, long time okay, to speak, okay, and okay, I have okay, given you the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Let me okay, say. Okay. Let me, ask question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what I was going to say, right. what I was going to say to you, what I was going to say to you, yeah. What I was going to say to you is simply this. Simply this. Simply this. If you're being honest with yourself, yeah, I'm willing to be. I'm very open-minded. Yeah, if you're very open-minded, you'd know that if you look at the fact that in 1971 or whatever it was. The fact that Be uh, Begin was allowed to become president of the country. That could be, I'm not, I'm you're, you're just not letting yeah. me speak. Okay. He was actually one of the people who, you were talking about 9-11, you were talking about Osama bin Laden. He was part of an operation which went into a hotel yeah, and killed 91 innocent individuals. Completely in one of, wrong. In, in, yeah, it's very yeah. wrong, but he was your president in your country for 10 years or something like that. Yeah, And then, he, and then after him, the same party, which was actually... If you look at its history, with the, uh, the the Lukid Party, when Lukid. all yeah whatever yeah, yeah, in okay. English we say Lukid Lukid Party, Lukid that, right. Ludicrous Party, <laughs> yes, that party which has its origins, historical origins in a terrorist organization which is Urgun, continues to per perpetrate this terrorist act, all the way up until this time. It's done so throughout the uh, the, the, the intifadas and up until this point in time all of these uh, operations that have been done and look at the casualties of, uh, of Palestinians compared to the casualties of Israelis there is no compare there simply is uh, cannot be any comparison it's not even one that's ten because Israel is more capable of defending itself. oh it's not defending it's attacking that's what I'm saying and his and attacking, and, and, and but, attacking who the children if, 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 look if, how many as children as have as been as killed is that something to be proud of is that you're, you're how many children have been killed in Israel? As not well? many, actually. So, yes, I do know, and not many. That's the answer. It's how, not many? As many, how many? How many? Much. How many? What are the official hundreds statistics? Hundreds of thousands. I don't know. Hundred thousand? Not hundreds of th hundreds and thousands. No, no, not of even. Uh, if you, I, I dare you, in the last ten years, to find me a statistic that says, uh, in the last one year, 
that five uh, Israeli children have been killed uh, or ten, uh, ten Israeli children okay, have been killed. Okay. No, it's not like this, man. Okay. It's but, minimal. But, it's minimal. But, but imagine... But Look at the amount that are dying. In it. it's, not, it's not comparable, man. There's no it's fireworks, war. rockets that you're talking about. It's not so a war, you, man. You, you, haven't answered, you haven't answered what there is to do now. I've asked you a okay, well, question. Okay, well, look, you're asking me the question of the million dollar question, right? Okay, I'm, I'm I'm okay you know, it's, a, it's a pessimistic future, in my opinion, right? There is no there's no solution because you have these competing powers. They've all got interest in that country. Uh, do, do you find, and, that's, me, and that's how it is. And let me ask you one more last question before yeah. we part. Do you find any problem that the Palestinians living in Israel? Pardon? Do you find any? Or do you hold of everything the Palestinians in Israel do? Sorry. Or you've got? Pro, do you have any problem? Any problems yeah. with what the Palestinians? Do in Israel? You've got you you with them 100 percent, or you've got your I'm, uh, yeah, I'm certainly with them 100 percent. But I obviously, mean, do you, yeah, I'm certainly with every them. Every single Palestinian, every whatever. His no, but obviously is. there's no. Of course not. That's that's a ridiculous uh, position for anyone to hold. Yeah. So, so I don't so agree. So do with you buy? So there are Palestinians that, that do want to wipe every single Israeli off the map. That's what I'm saying. Just like I, you're I talking think, about the Israelis. No, but, but there hold, are Palestinians. But like Isaac, that. the truth so is, to, most Isra most Palestinians' main concerns are their own survival but and preservation. That's Israelis' main concerns. That's what they said to my point. David, if you get rockets David, coming in from Scotland Isaac, to London uh, every, Isaac, every couple of nice days. One, but David has become Goliath and unfortunately maybe maybe oh, so maybe in the Holocaust kind of this is the Holocaust industry kind of discussion. Maybe in the Holocaust that, that kind of rhetoric would have been totally acceptable and it is totally acceptable but when we're talking about you are the bigger and stronger and capable uh, military so, doing it to these little groups of children and protesters <laughs> throwing rocks and whatever your, your, sorry your case is no longer bought. Why? Why? Uh, if because you, you're the, it's like uh, me going Israel, to the, the government is worried about isn't innocent Israelis being killed. I don't understand you. Oh, okay. Well, let them be worried about. It's that. It's not worried. It's a, it's a fact. It's, 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 okay. It's, it's, let, let, let them be worried about that. They have a right to be worried about uh, everything. But here's what I'm saying to you: is that look at the look on the ground, look at the data, look at the statistic, look at the history. Everything shows that this was a, this is a government. Brother, he's up. We are going to Krikul, huh? Okay. okay. Let me come with you. Okay. All right. Yalla. What's your name? Take him, Mohammed. Mohammed yes. nice Thank you, my friend. All right. Let's go, man. I am so grateful to Allah for having guided me to Islam. Sadly, I am the only Muslim in my family. It hurts me that my parents haven't accepted Islam yet, and I ask Allah to guide them. But it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. The Prophet said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family. Click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching the corners of Norway.